Hi tribe, welcome back to my channel. Kinna Mapalomak. So today, tribe, I thought I should go to my book and give you some of the tips that come from here. Okay? So remember you can purchase the book from any exclusive books countrywide, and I think all the other major bookstores you can find it for 230 Rand only. Okay. So one of the questions I often get is um, is a credit card good or bad? Okay. So remember, I don't think any anything is good or bad. It all really depends on you. Okay. So if you know that you are not disciplined, a credit card is not for you. If you know that you overspend and you want to use your credit card to maintain your lifestyle, a credit card is not for you, okay? If you want to pop champagne on credit, please cut it up, take it back. You don't need it. You don't need that type of drama in your life because debt will cause you drama, stress, and pain and sleepless nights okay so right now i am talking to responsible people hopefully all the tribe members are responsible <laughs> i'm talking to anyone who thinks should i have a credit card i know i'm disciplined enough not to max it out on maintaining a fancy lifestyle that i can't afford um there definitely are some benefits and again i said i'm going to be taking them from my book you're not broke you're pretty rich Get the book if you don't have it. Why don't you have it? Okay. Okay. So the first advantage um, is that you will not be charged any interest um, between the interest-free period. So the interest-free period on your credit card is usually about 55 days. So if you purchase something on your with your credit card and within 55 days you've paid it off, you will not be charged interest. Remember, interest is costly. Interest costs you money. That's how banks, that's how creditors make money, by charging you interest, okay? And many of you don't even know just how much interest is being charged on your credit card, on your personal loans, and that sort of thing. So after watching this today, you are going to go back to your statements and see how much interest rate is being charged, okay? Because the one with the highest interest rate is the... As the debt that costs you the most money okay so number one if you pay back the money within the interest-free period which is usually 55 days the entire purchase will be interest-free so I think if you are trying to maintain your credit score this is a good way to make sure that okay you are using a little bit of debt but it shows that you are able to pay it off so remember with your credit score, it really is just a reflection of how well or badly you have done with money that banks or, you know, all these other institutions have given to you. Okay, so that's um, the first advantage of having a credit card. Okay, the second one is that if you use your credit card um, to book flights, you get free travel insurance. So that means should, um, should the airline have some issues i'm not going to mention any names because you know they've been cancelling a lot of flights um that your money can be returned to you because with they, there's some sort of agreement between the, the the banks and um the service provider if you use a credit card your money can be refunded back to you okay so you get free travel insurance which is um, a brilliant thing then it means you don't have to go out looking for travel insurance travel insurance travel insurance um, which can be slightly costly so that's a saving you can get by using your credit card the third advantage of having a credit card is what you call a chargeback okay so a chargeback is let's say you purchase something online and for whatever reason those goods do not get to you okay what happens is that the bank will refund you your money obviously i'm sure there are some periods maybe you can't return you can't say okay i haven't received it in more than 30 days so you always have to check those terms and conditions but your money will be refunded back to you unlike when you use your debit card or your check card um you don't get your money back i know this because i once purchased something 
quickly online without checking if the website was real or not and 600 bucks i got knocked off 600 bucks i checked the website a week later there was no website there was nothing but if i had used a credit card i would have received my money back i would have just i don't know gone on to my app and said you know what reverse this payment it's fraudulent i have not received the goods and i would have received my money back but because i didn't use a credit card because your girl is afraid of credit cards i don't trust myself um yeah i used my debit card and i lost about 600 bucks so those are the three advantages of having or using a credit card okay but one of the things that you need to do all the time is make sure you don't forget to pay off your credit cards again that interest is hefty you know i've seen credit cards sometimes go up to 24 percent interest so make sure that you always pay it on time in time before the 55 day period if you are someone who is forgetful because life happens right um set up a debit order that every single month a debit order will go off and some money will go towards your credit card so if let's say your limit is four thousand and you know that you will use about four thousand on your credit card to make sure that you know your credit score is okay um make sure you set up a debit order don't always rely on the fact that oh no i will do it life happens then boom they've charged you 23 percent on what you owe them okay so those are the advantages of having a credit card if you have a credit card if you have any part of stories of using a credit card let me know because like i said i don't have one because i i don't trust myself i just i know myself when i get frustrated i want to spend um when i'm happy i want to spend so i make sure i spend money i do have if i don't have it i sit at home and drink my coffee and drink my water and mind my own business so if you have any horror stories let me know but also if you have very good stories about using a credit card and how it helps you um but please don't come and tell me that you were buying champagne on a credit card i don't want to hear that i'm not interested okay all right time so hopefully that kind of sets some light into a credit card is not all bad but um if you're not disciplined then a credit card is not for you okay tribe again thank you so much for watching if you want to find out uh, more information on this or you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and also please do remember to follow me on instagram and facebook on instagram it's mafalomaku and on facebook is woman and finance i'll see you soon bye